On April 23, 1951, students at the R.R. Moton High School, frustrated by the conditions at their school, attending classes in tar paper shacks, no heat, books that fell apart in their hand, took action. Led by 16-year-old Barbara Johns, the students protested the conditions at their school, demanding a new school. Today, we're fortunate to have with us three members of that strike. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Reverend J. Samuel Williams, Joy Cabarrus Speaks, and Edwilda Allen Isaac to share their story with us today. There was no such thing as uh, a first aid room. And we had no cafeteria, we had no gym. No good stage for theatrical performances and all of this, that, and the other. And we didn't have uh, a science lab. We had a science lab, but a frog and a snake, that was about all. <laughs> in formaldehyde, one classroom full of people, and you had to stand in line and look at the microscope. <laughs> It was built for 180 students, and at the time in April, there was over 400 students attending. But as the, the population of the school grew, we had to have other buildings. They had built um, tar paper shacks on the side of the school to accommodate. Uh, they had pot stoves in the middle. That someone had to come ahead of you and make the fire and everything so that you would be warm. But in the tar paper shacks, there were leaking that came in, so you needed an umbrella if you were on, on the side where the leaks were coming in. Tell them, we want what white folk got. They got things, well, we, we need that too. We got tired of looking at uh, dealing with hand me down. We had gone too long of not having books and the things that we needed, and that now was a time for us to go on strike, and that God was on our side, and this was a time that the scripture had said a child should lead, so that we should all follow. I was 13 years old when I was involved in the walkout at uh, Robert R. Morton High School. When Barbara Johns came to me and said, uh, she wanted me to meet her down on the football field. And that's when she told me and some other students that she was going to do something about the conditions that we had at school. And what Barbara did was she signed her name to a little note saying B.J. because our principal was Boyd Jones <laughs> and her name was Barbara Johns. So it went around to all the teachers uh, to have their students come to the auditorium. And my job was to tell all the eighth graders that uh, when the bell rings, they should get up, walk out of class, and not listen to the teachers and stop. But when we came to the auditorium and the curtains opened, I think everybody was in surprise to see Barbara standing there when we thought that the principal was gonna be standing there. But she gave the speech School students struck in 1951. Strike lasted 10 days, see, until we were given some kind of knowledge or leveling ground for a new school. But it, it's, it's something that we never realized that it would evolve to what it did with massive uh, resistance and how hateful people could be because of the color of your skin. And, but even when it comes to now, we did a lot of work then. Barbara stepped out on faith. We still have a long ways to go. So all of us suffered in some way or another. And I find it uh, really interesting that even though all these years have passed, when a group of us get together, uh, we spend a lot of time still uh, trying to live and hold all of this inside, our, inside of our bodies. Tears still coming, my voice is beginning to crack, so it's time for me to stop. 